And what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Excel Your Sub for another video, guys. We are back with another rankings video, just like I did the Highway 35 rankings a while ago, and then my favorite 36 Excel Your cars in order from least favorite to most favorite. Today, guys, we are going to be going through all of the Gen 2 Accelerators cars, and I'm going to be ranking them from my favorite down to my least favorite. And uh, there's a grand total, I believe, of 31 of these cars in the Gen 2 line. There's 27 sort of recastings of the cars, and then the four re-releases of Nitrium, Baseline, RDO 6, and Hollowback. Couldn't remember there for a second. But I am a huge fan of these Gen 2 cars, guys. This is going to be a ton of fun to record this video, and I'm eager to see what you guys think in the comments of my rankings and uh, which cars you guys would move around or put in different places. Go down to the comments. Definitely let me know. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys. So coming in at number 27, I'm not going to bother ranking the four re-released cars, but at number 27, my least favorite Gen 2 car is this Realm Series RDO 5. And I've got to say, I love almost all of the Gen 2 cars. There's not really any that I dislike, whereas there were some 2005 AR cars that I disliked. But uh, I really do like all the Gen 2 cars. So even though it comes in last, it's still not a bad model. And I really do love the clear wheels. And then coming in at number 26, we have the Accelicharged Series Anthracite. I love the clear bodies on the Accelicharged style cars, but uh, the yellow paint job was a little bit off-putting to me. I'm not going to lie. It's not my favorite look on it. Um, the yellow and purple don't look bad together, but uh, as far as AR cars go, it's just an odd color to choose for a silencer's vehicle. And then coming in at number 25, we have the Realm Series RDO 6. Definitely like the paint job on this car. I'm a big fan of anything purple, and I love that it's sort of the Storm Realm theme to it. But uh, overall, RDO 6 is just not one of my favorite car models. So even though the paint job is cool, it still just, just kind of pales in comparison to some of the other really sick Gen 2 cars. At number 24, we have the Accelicharged Series Pile Driver. Once again, I'm a huge fan of the clear body. Unfortunately, though, with the paint job and everything, they really didn't change anything from the 2005 Series Pile Driver, just minor cosmetic adjustments. Um, I would have loved to see them go with like a totally different off the wall color for this car, sort of like how we had the green battle spec and uh, the yellow anthracite. But the fact that they kept it red kind of lost some of its luster for me. So that is why it is this far down in the rankings. And at number 23, we have the Realm Series Jackhammer. I'm a big fan of the Water Realm Jackhammer, and uh, I love the clear wheels on the car as well, even though I know you know you can get clear wheels variation and irregular wheels. But uh, personally, I really enjoy the blue on the Jackhammer, but I wish they would have added some more decals sort of on the top of the car rather than just having it be solid blue. And then at number 22, we have the Droned Series Nitrium. I'm a big fan of all the drone style cars. I love that drone paint scheme. And Nitrium honestly looks much better with the drone decals around the top of the car on the perimeter. Whereas the Silencers version just had, you know, the standard silver paint around the edges. But I love that there's drone decals on it. But uh, overall, it just wasn't one of my favorite Gen 2 cars. The Nitrium car model itself, I'm not a huge fan of. So that's why it's kind of far down. It also would have looked pretty cool with clear wheels. And at number 21, we have the Drone Series Ratified. And I got to say, guys, starting at this point, it really got tough because the top 20 are all really awesome looking paint jobs. And I really do enjoy all the cars. So to put Drone Ratified this low kind of felt wrong because I love the clear wheels on this car. I love the black paint scheme. This is like 10 times better than the 2005 version of Ratified, but it still just cannot compete with some of these better looking cars. All right, so coming in at number 20, moving into the top 20, I should say, we have Team Colors High Voltage. I'm a big fan of the paint job on high voltage in general. I love the decal scheme on it. However, I really wasn't a huge fan of the bright orange car. Um, I was a big fan of the black paint job on the 2005 version. I would have loved to see them go with maybe a, a blue paint job or something like that, or maybe even a white paint job or uh, something goldish. I don't know, but the, uh, the orange really just kind of was bland to me. Um, I really thought that the black accentuated it well, so this was a bit of a disappointment to see it in orange. And at number 19, guys, this pained me because I am a huge, huge Spectite fan, but I have the Cosmic Realm Series Spectite at number 19. Overall, guys, once again, a cool paint job. And I, you know, I like the yellow wheels. It's not so bad, but uh, I just feel like there could have been so much more done with this car with an alternate paint scheme, you know, seeing Spectite in orange or, uh, or white or anything else, really. I would have loved to see it in some alternate paint schemes, but uh, the black really doesn't do it for me so much. And it just kind of looks like a, uh, a drab car compared to some of the strip metal ones. And moving into number 18, we have the Team Colors Rolling Thunder. As I always say, guys, I'm a big fan of the white paint jobs on the Accelerators cars. I really think it makes them look flashy. If I can't have them in strip metal, let me see them in white with the decals on the sides. Really makes them pop even more. So we have the Team Colors Rolling Thunder. And I've also, I'm a pretty big fan of these colored windshields. They really do make the cars pop even more. 
at number 17, we have the Team Colors RDO4, guys. And uh, I know a lot of people aren't huge fans of the Team Colors drones cars, but uh, honestly, I kind of like that green paint job. I really do like the lime green. I think it's a nice change up from the, uh, the dark green that some of the uh, 2005 drone cars had. And I'm glad they didn't go with the sort of yellow style that they had on the Cosmic Realm spec type. But overall, I really do like it. And I like the chrome finish around the uh, clear wheels. I think it really makes the car pop. And at number 16, this one was pretty similar to the Team Colors RDO4 for me. Um, they're just kind of similar looking paint jobs on the cars. But I do like the RDO9 body style even more than the RDO4 by a good bit, honestly. So that is why RDO9 has the advantage here. And uh, moving into the top 15, this was the lowest stripped metal car that I had in my rankings. Um, shout out to Loose Wheel for this photo. There's not a lot of great photos of the strip metal Iridium out there. There's a big glare on most of them from, you know, the strip metal naturally. But uh, it's just the strip metal version of a Silencer's car really doesn't do that much for me considering they were already silver cars to begin with. It does make it look cooler than, you know, the 2005 Iridium. But overall, it just leaves a little bit of something to be desired. I do like the Silencer's logo on the back left side of the car, though. And at number 14, talk about a massive change up from 2005 to 2006. Absolutely love this paint job on this power bomb and the clear wheels make it pop even more. This dark red on the power bomb is absolutely gorgeous. I guess you could call it maroon too. I'm really not sure what the exact color is, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Really makes the car pop and the flames in white. Cannot say enough about it. Moving into number 13, honestly, the paint job on this Team Colors Synchro is not my favorite. Um, I do get the whole inverted paint scheme. But uh, honestly, I just, I don't know. It kind of leaves something to be desired, but I'm a big fan of the Synchro model, which is part of the reason why it's so high in the rankings. And it's always cool to see cars in alternate paint schemes. So at number 13, we have Team Colors Synchro. And then coming in at number 12, we have the Droned Baseline. As I said before, I'm a big fan of the drone cars, big fan of the Teku cars. It was pretty cool to see baseline in white for the 2005 line and then see it in black for the 2006 line. The drone decals are absolutely wicked. I'm a big fan of drone baseline. And then at number 11, we have the Acceleron Series Cove Light. And uh, I know the other two Acceleron Series cars that were released both have orange paint jobs with purple windshields. And I honestly kind of think Cove Light would have looked better that way, but I get that they wanted to switch it up a little bit. So uh, I would have loved to see the paint style inverted on this car with purple windshield, orange car. I think that would have looked absolutely sick, but still a pretty cool car model. Can't go wrong with Cove Light and anything with purple on it is absolutely wicked. So now moving into the top 10, we have the Team Color Series Chicane. Cannot say enough about that crystal blue windshield. The windshields on the 2006 cars absolutely make them pop in my opinion. I love some of the alternate color windshields. But uh, the decals, paint scheme on the chicane, pretty cool. Once again, I'm not a huge fan of the orange. I just think it's kind of bland compared to uh, the Teku colors that we got to see in the 2005 line. And moving into number nine, we have the Acceleron Series Hollowback. Cannot say enough about the decals and the color on this car, guys. And I much prefer this orange to the orange on the Team Color Chicane and High Voltage. I just like that it's more of a gloss-looking orange than sort of a standard plasticky orange. It's hard to explain, but it's just one of those little texture things that bothers me. But uh, I love the decals, the paint scheme on this car. The uh, purple around the wheels is absolutely gorgeous as well. And I love, love, love that purple windshield. These Acceleron cars are absolutely gorgeous. Moving into number eight, Stripped Metal Series Riveted, guys. It is just chef's kiss, beautiful. Cannot say enough about Stripped Metal. And on this Riveted, guys, it is absolutely gorgeous. The Stripped Metal cars always kind of reminded me of, you know, Ghost Rare, like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, for example, just sort of to take out a lot of the color and just make it shiny as possible. Absolutely gorgeous. And at number seven, guys, we have the Drone Series Flathead Fury. Absolutely love this car. I love Randy's custom Drone Flathead Furies even more, but... Flathead Fury is such an awesome model. It's definitely well, probably in my top five favorite models. I don't remember exactly where it was in my last rankings, but with the drone decals, absolutely makes it pop even more. And moving into number six, we have the Excel Charge Series Battle Spec. Cannot say enough about the clear body on the Excel Charge Series cars. I'm just glad they finally gave us a reasonable paint job. I wish they hadn't left that pile driver as red, and the anthracite was just a little too off the wall for me with that bright yellow. But the green on the battle spec absolutely looks sick. It goes very well with the orange decals. Maybe once again, it's because I'm a Miami Hurricanes fan and that paint job, the orange and green just works for me. But I'm a big fan of Excel Charge battle spec. And then moving into the top five, we have another Excel Charge series car. Once again, Excel Charge series RDO8. Love, love, love that clear body. And the blue and the green was a fantastic, fantastic color choice. I just cannot say enough about it. And the clear wheels version is even more beautiful than this one. But uh, unfortunately, the picture that I grabbed is one with these solid colored wheels. But the blue and the green go together absolutely beautifully. That is why I have Excel Charged RDO8 in my top five. And moving into number four, we have the Acceleron Series Spinebuster. Once again, same reasoning as the Hollowback at number nine. 
cannot say enough about the purple around the wheels, the orange paint job, the chrome engine. It's just when you take the cars that were already sick in the 2005 line and you give them an even cooler looking paint job, you just cannot lose. So Acceleron Spinebuster is number four. And moving into the top three, we have Stripped Metal Series RDO2. RDO2 is absolutely awesome. So you slap a stripped metal paint job on it, it makes it even more awesome. Then you add clear wheels. You just cannot lose with this car, guys. It absolutely shines in the light. Unfortunately, this picture does not have it directly under light, but it is an absolutely gorgeous car model. I have it at number three. And then at number two, we have the Stripped Metal Series Power Rage, guys. This car is absolutely gorgeous. The top two were incredibly difficult to choose between because they are both such sick cars. Power Rage is just an awesome car model. You slap strip metal colors on it and clear wheels. Those clear blue wheels are absolutely unbelievable. Cannot say enough about it. it absolutely gleams in the light, similar to the strip metal RDO2. But Power Rage came up just short. I tossed and turned for days trying to figure out which car was going to be two and which was going to be one. But at number two, stripped metal series Power Rage. And then the grand winner at number one, we have the Team Color Series Carbide. In my opinion, this is the most beautiful accelerators car that was ever made. Absolutely love the deep purple with the clear purple wheels. It just absolutely pops off the screen and off any shelf that you've ever had it on. And uh, it is highly desired in the community just because of how sick it looks, guys. Carbide was awesome, but you slap dark purple on it, absolutely makes it pop. At number one, we have Team Color Series Carbide. So that is going to conclude my rankings for all 31 Gen 2 cars, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to go down to the comment section. Let me know which cars you would sort of move around, which ones you would have, you know, at the bottom or the top. I'm interested to see some of you guys' favorite Gen 2 cars. But uh, hopefully if you guys enjoyed, you'll smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the Accelerators yourself for more Accelerators-related content. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.